Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 99, defining your configuration migration tool schema. In tip number 98, I provided a high-level overview of using the configuration migration tool for Power Apps Portals ALM. In this tip, I'll go into more details on defining your configuration migration tool schema. The configuration migration tool uses a schema file to define which tables, columns, relationships, and rows are included as part of the export and import process. When using it for Power Apps Portal's ALM, you can choose to use the schema files provided by Microsoft. They provide schema files for each of the different Power Apps Portal's templates. Or, you can choose to create your own. I prefer to create my own schema files. In general, I try to include the fewest number of rows in my export and import process. Since portals must be installed manually into each environment, all environments start with the out-of-the-box data in the portals tables. Rather than moving all of the data, including many rows which I haven't modified, I prefer to keep track of which rows I've modified and only move those as part of the ALM process. This has the benefit of making the export-import process quicker, and as you'll see in future tips, it means the scope of records checked into source control is also smaller. Creating your own schema in the configuration migration tool is pretty straightforward. You are able to select which tables, columns, and relationships you want to include in your export. As with tables, I prefer to include only the columns and relationships that I really need as part of my ALM process. So I typically leave out columns like created on, created by, modified on, and modified by. Once you've defined your schema, you are able to save it as an XML file. If you prefer, you can also manually edit that XML file. While I typically don't do this to create the file, it is often easier to edit the XML directly when making minor changes. In our next tip, I'll go into how you can use fetch XML to only include a subset of records for a specific table. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 99 on defining your configuration migration tool schema useful.